So what exactly is a function? We've mentioned that functions group together blocks of code to perform a specific task, and we've actually been using functions throughout this course. Whenever you've used system.out.println to print a line, you've been calling the function println, which is a built-in Java function. And calling a function is just referring to that function by its name and using it in a program. And you can call the same function as many times as you want in a program. Think of when we've written multiple print line lines of code. Each of these is a function call. And every time you make a function call, Java will recognize the name of the function. And it will look inside its own code for a function definition with the same name. And we'll get more into the difference between function calling and function definitions in a bit. Function definitions include the name of a function and all the code that function contains. And when you call a function, like when you say system.out.println, it's equivalent to executing all the code in the definition of println. So when you call println over and over again, all these calls will refer to the same one function definition. Java will see a call like this and then look to the definition to execute the code inside of this function. So let's check out this definition. Here's the function definition for printing a line. It contains several lines of code that work to display a message on our screen. And actually, this is only a portion of the code included in println. You can see that its definition starts out with these words, public and void, and then the name of our function, println. Then it takes in a string, which we input, and then it has curly braces that group together all the code that println executes. And this block of code is pretty big and quite complicated. Here we see an if statement that's checking if our string x is equal to null. And null basically means that it doesn't exist, so this checks that there is a string to print. Then there's a lot more code to correctly display the string. It even uses more functions inside, like this write function, to display our string to our screen. Just imagine if we had to write this code over and over every time we wanted to display a message. Luckily, since println is a function, we're able to use all this code as many times as you want just by referring to the function name with a function call. So function calls like this let us print stuff out to our screen, and we don't need to know the specifics of the code being executed. 